Hi guys, it's Ben here after Bournemouth nil, Liverpool 4 and I think it goes without saying that was exactly, exactly the type of performance and result that we needed. I thought absolutely every single person in white today was superb. So, so pleased with the points, the clean sheet, the four goals, the manner of the goals as well. Loved it, absolutely loved it. Um, it's been a long time coming, it feels like, after those two horrible results. Everything clicked today. The team selection was pretty spot on in the end. I think resting Mane was absolutely the right decision. And Oxlade Chamberlain really came of age as a Liverpool player today. I thought he was absolutely sensational. Sky have just given him out of the match, and I could not agree more. I thought he was absolutely perfect in that central midfield role. His tackling, his passing, his work rate, his quick movement, it was everything that you don't get with certain Liverpool midfielders. You don't even get that with Vinaldum all the time necessarily not today anyway um, or I thought Van Adam did his job fine but Oxlade Chamberlain just gives you something extra um, and I thought Henderson as well it takes a lot of criticism from myself included but he was superb today um, made lots of forward runs got into good positions His, it was much easier for him when he didn't have to do uh, running for another player because when we play Coutinho in midfield or when, when we play the Fab Four Henderson's got a bit more running to do and it sort of takes away from what he's good at um, which is those forward runs which is that you know, that, that, that passing range, which we sometimes don't get to see the best of if he's got other things to do. Today he had a bit more time and space to do that, because Oxley Chamberlain was doing so much work for him, Wijnaldum was doing so much work for him. It was just a great midfield performance and a great overall performance defensively. We were good. Robertson had his best game in a Liverpool shirt. Um, Joe Gomez was fine. I thought set, the centre-backs were good, apart from that one lapse from Lovren, which nearly led to a goal when Defoe hit the post. We got away with that one, fortunately. Um, keeper had nothing to do and then obviously the front three with Coutinho playing on the left wing today um, he was majestic that first goal was absolutely marvellous Firmino was sensational Salah was Salah and Liverpool back into the top four with back scoring goals again another clean sheet um, let's not get carried away because we know we're just as capable of, of putting an Olympic display against a team that are going to park the bus Bournemouth didn't park the bus today they actually tried to play against us and as soon as that early goal goes in and then we score another one quickly after that a cheap one from a set piece um, you know we're, we're you know we're in business. Yes, I know we've blown leads against even against Bournemouth before, but we never looked quite like panicking. They had a phase in the sort of last ten minutes of the first half where they looked like they were going to get back into it when Devoe hit the post and they had one or two other half chances. But we weathered the storm. We got the third, killed the game off, and then the second half was just a lovely breeze. Um, got, got the fourth in there as well and just controlled it. Didn't allow them a sniff. Brought some subs on. Rested for Friday. Perfect. 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 Perfect day for Liverpool. Let's go through some player ratings. Mignolet, um, seven. Gomez, eight. Uh, Lovren, do you know what? Um, I'm gonna give him a nine just to just because he deserves it. Like that tackle, that the, the, the one that was judged to be a foul in the first half on on the uh, the left flank. Um, he clearly got the ball, it was a very Bertie Moreno-esque tackle, uh, clearly got the ball, free kick given against him and they were trying to target him for that first 20 minutes, trying to get him in his head. I was just thinking he, as long as he keeps his head he's fine, then he goes and scores and then he, he's fine from there on. So 9 out of 10 for Lovren, why not? He, he deserves some praise after what's been a rough you know, couple of weeks for him. Clavin, 8 out of 10, fine. Robertson was great, uh, got, see no reason why not to give him a, a 9. Henderson, 8. Vinaldum 7, you know, solid. Oxlade-Chamberlain, man of the match. Uh, 9 out of 10, um, you know, he didn't really do anything to not deserve a 10 I suppose, but he, he, you need to do something special if you're going to get a 10. He got an assist, but it was just a very, very good, energetic, lots of lots of quality, lots of invention, um, lots of positive running, just exactly what I want to see from a midfielder, he was great. Uh, and then, <laughs> it's hard not to give Coutinho man of the match after what he did, but to be fair, he did dip in and out of the game at times, but it's still a 9 out of 10 from him, superb. Firmino, 9 out of 10. Salah, 9 out of 10. The Attacking-wise, we were devastating today. Should have had a lot more goals. The, the subs come on. Uh, Lallana looked a bit rusty, to be honest with you, but um, you know, great to see him back on the pitch. Hopefully, in a couple of weeks, he'll be ready to start some games. 6 out of 10. Solanke has a couple of chances. Ings has a, has a chance. That you know, 6 out of 10 each for them for sort of getting involved and getting stuck in and looking like they really want a goal. Both of them could really do with a goal, especially Solanke, who uh, you know, just won't seem to go in for him at the moment. Oh, what a result that is. Back into the top four, a clean sheet, confidence back, some form back for some of those players, a bit of momentum again, and that was without Sadio Mane as well. We've got some options now. Oxley chamberlain played really well, proving that he can, he can cement a starting place in this side. I think he really can. Uh, you, you pick from Henderson or Chan, um, you know, I'll, I'll leave that debate to, to be had, you, know, you can kind of pick and choose there. And I think, you know, Oxlade Chamberlain and Lallana either side is not a bad midfield three. 
um, with Van Alden as an option there when we need to sit in a bit more or um, you know the other one of Henderson and Chan can play if we want to play two of them that was good that was good I mean we still need a bit more in there I, th I think he can still improve but once Lallana gets properly fit again and Oxo chamberlain can get a consistent run of games in midfield I think you've got the makings of a good midfield trio um, but it's all about the attack you, you don't want to be leaving out for one of the Fab Four so we'll play it by ear good to have options good problems to have uh, let's not get carried away as I said earlier just because we know we're capable of stinking the place out um, it's all about putting a run together now we want to be winning Arsenal always tough but after that we need to be putting a run together because we've got some winnable games against the likes of Swansea, Leicester um, Burnley um, and then you've got the FA Cup so very positive Oxlade Chamberlain is my man of the match leave a comment with yours and any other thoughts on that game delighted delighted with the Reds performance out there today Bournemouth nil, Liverpool 4 get in there subscribe to this channel if you're new and follow my other socials as Ben might say on Twitter Instagram Snapchat and Facebook up the Reds see you next time